Well, let's take a turn. There was a lot on the agenda at City Council today, but really little movement on anything. Aldermen were supposed to address a possible ban on natural gas in new buildings and police arbitration. However, most of the questions today centered on Chicago's migrant crisis and how to handle much needed shelter space. NBC 5's investigative reporter Bennett Haberly joining us now with the story tonight. Bennett? Yeah, Stephan and Allison, we have both conflicting statements and opinions over how to handle the migrant crisis. Governor J.B. Prisker expressed concern this week that Chicago doesn't have enough bed space for migrants. After today's city council meeting, Mayor Johnson took questions for the first time in weeks, saying the city could potentially need to look elsewhere in the state for that shelter space. With buses still arriving on the city's 28 migrant shelters at max capacity. Again, I really do appreciate you all being here today. Mayor today's Brandon Johnson faced questions over what his administration plans to do in the coming months. I'm, uh, I'm curious about what the future holds. Congress seems uh, unwilling to act on additional federal spending to address this. You and the governor seem sort of at odds publicly over how we should approach this. The city's spending millions each month addressing this crisis. What is the plan going forward over the next 60 to 90 days to the people who are in these shelters face the real threat of being out on the street? I don't know if I would characterize it that me and the governor are at odds. Look, this is an enormous amount of stress for the entire country. The mayor went on to say that during his recent conversations in Washington with the Biden administration, there were discussions about other ways to get money to cities like Chicago, which are housing migrants, but he didn't offer specifics. 34,000 migrants have arrived in Chicago since 2022. The city does not plan to open any additional shelters, which Governor J.B. Pritzker was asked about this week. I'm deeply concerned. Uh, we do not have enough shelter as it is in the city of Chicago. Uh, the city has not told the state where they would like us to put our resources to build new shelters or help them build new shelters. So we can't help if they don't identify those locations. The state has locations that, that have been recommended. The state has been in conversations with the archdiocese. The mayor told reporters the state has been given a list of recommended sites and that the 2,200 beds the state is offering to create are much needed, but that they could be built elsewhere. Shelters do not have to solely be set up and built in the city of Chicago. As many as 1,900 migrants face the potential February 1st deadline of the city's 60-day shelter stay limit. Those who will be asked to leave the shelter can reapply to be put back in another one. Right now, it's not clear how many will see their current living situations disrupted. And some more signs of those conflicting statements. The governor's spokeswoman got back to us late this afternoon saying what the governor said holds true. She went on to say we have not received locations from the city, but eagerly await them. The mayor did say that the last time the two of them had a one on one was before the holidays. The city, by the way, has spent $156 million on the crisis of the past 18 months, and we still have some outstanding questions about some of those expenditures. We'll certainly keep you posted. And the crisis is real. Hopefully the two of them will sit down oh. and figure out what Right. I mean, they, do. he said they had breakfast before the holidays, so they discussed the migrant crisis. So, yeah, a lot, a lot to be ironed out. A lot okay. to talk about. Yes, indeed. Oh, let's do it. Thank right. you, Bennett. Sure. Thank you.